Hi, I'm Barbara with Travel Tips and Info. And if you're familiar with the Citizen M brand, you'll know they have hotels all over the world. But the first one was at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. And I'm going to give you a tour. You can easily walk there from arrivals. When you come out of customs, you're going to walk straight ahead to Schiphol Plaza, which is where the shopping area is. And you're going to go to the right and exit out of the last possible door, right where that red arrow is. Right when you exit, you'll see signs to Citizen M Hotel and just follow the sidewalk straight to the hotel. You'll be able to see it in the distance and you won't have to cross any major roads. As you walk up, you'll see this chrome head in the grass and then are greeted by a giant red balloon dog as you walk in the door and then a garden gnome flipping you off. Now you know why I love, love, love this hotel. It is so quirky. There's a large bar in the lobby where they serve the best gin and tonics, and it's also where you'll come down for breakfast in the morning. There are various lounges down this hallway toward the elevator, and it's a really nice place to hang out with friends or colleagues if you're traveling for business. And here's more Citizen M humor and bizarre artwork as you get to your floor. Never a dull moment in this place. And it's important to know that there are two very different room styles here, and you need to tell them ahead of time which one you want and then again when you check in. But this was the first style room that I stayed in where it has a distinct separate bathroom with a toilet and a shower and it has a nice vanity and it's got a little desk where you can work with a chair and a stool. Every room has these beautiful big windows where you can see the airport on one side and then the other side is the office park. But there are several outlets by the desk and switches that will put down both a sheer curtain and blackout blinds, which is really nice when you're trying to sleep. The rooms are tiny, but they're really efficient, and I had plenty of room being by myself, but what I like is also all of the controls are done by an iPad on the desk. You can even change the mood lighting from purple to blue to green, whatever you want, and it's just kind of fun. The bathroom has these frosted glass walls, so they've got a curtain partition that you can pull for privacy if you're staying with somebody else. And inside the bathroom is just the toilet and the shower, nice fluffy towels, and again, the mood lighting that you can change, and it's got a rain shower head that's really nice. And they have pretty decent shampoo and conditioner with funny sayings on them, of course. They can't do anything just uh, in a mundane way. Here's a wide angle shot of the room from the bathroom and I stayed in another room there that had the same style so that's why it looked reversed in one of the pictures. And here's just a short clip of how the blinds and the curtains work. It is totally dark in there when those blinds come down. Here's one of the soaps I was telling you about with the funny sayings on them. More strange artwork. And these books, Why You Will Marry the Wrong Person. I just had to crack that one open. Here is the other room style, which I did not care for. You've got these little round pod-like things for the toilet and the shower that are just right there in your room. So I guess to each his own, but I didn't like this layout. You do have the option to pay for breakfast when you book. And I believe it was 14 euros. It is well worth it because you're either going to eat here or you're going to eat some overpriced crappy food at the airport. Each time I've been there, they've had slightly different things, but they always have fresh bread and croissant and they have like these um, little casserole dishes that they make with eggs florentine and different kinds of uh, omelets and souffles, which was really nice. I've got a couple different pictures here from the few times that I've stayed there. They also have baristas there making whatever kind of coffee you want while you're fixing your breakfast. So breakfast was a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend it. When you check out, you're just going to walk right back to the airport. You can see it in the distance there. It's not far at all. It took me maybe five minutes and it puts you right back into Schiphol Plaza and you just go up the escalator to the departures area. So you really can't beat this for convenience to the airport. It's very reasonably priced. It's super comfortable and it is very quirky. I hope you enjoyed this video tour of the Citizen M Hotel at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. And if you'd like some more travel information, please visit my website at traveltipsandinfo.com. Bon voyage!